Hey everybody! So my final request was uh, trying the milk paint in a boiler maker. So I do have the milk paint in this cup already. This is going to be interesting because that is a lot of milk paint. So it means we need to use a lot of color. So I'm using a big glass tonight. So I'm going to go ahead and put two layers of color down. Starting with the Prussian blue. And of course I want that gold right next to that Prussian blue. And the cobalt blue. And the light blue from Grumbacher. Go right back with this Prussian. I want to use all of that. I don't want any leftovers. <laughs> And then we'll do the gold again. I have a lot of gold left though. That's okay. And then we'll go ahead with the gold ball. And I think we'll axe the uh, light blue. Because it's going to get lost anyway. Well, maybe not. Let's try it. Since I need that little bit left there. going to give that a tiny stir because there is no milk paint in this. And we're going to drop that down in that milk paint. So the milk paint is a thicker consistency than our normal base. So of course it took a while to go down. It's pretty cool though. So I'll give that a second to sink and then of course I'm just going to flip it. So a lot of paint so I don't mind if all that white runs off always cleaning up while I'm waiting aren't I <laughs> kind of a neat freak okay let's let some of that white out Oh, we got color with it too, yay. So this is going to be cool because I have no clue what's going to happen. So I'm going to be just like you, seeing it for the first time. I didn't do this experiment before. But I do have a feeling that we're going to lose everything with that milk paint. We shall see. Let me torch it. We learn from experience, right? So with experience, we have to experiment. Okay. So let's go ahead and start moving that around now we have no silicone so I don't know um, if that white will sink at all because with the milk paint it normally does not sink that light blue just looks so pretty with that gold but I didn't want to overdo it because I have a feeling that milk paint's going to eat all this stuff up anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and push that. Try to get some of that over. So I can bring some of this darkness back out. Still have a lot of paint on here. And that's okay. My paintings don't crack, so I'm not worried about that. And there's no glue in there, so they should dry pretty fast, too. Okay, so let's torch it. We're just popping air bubbles.
bring some color through that white, but not much. Okay, let's let it set for 10 minutes and we'll probably have a completely white painting. <laughs> but I'll be right back. And I'm back, and it behaved quite well. Um, we did get some more um, cloud effect going on there, and there, and there. Uh, this whole side, of course, is clouding out. But I'm going to turn it the way that I think it will look cool, huh? Like that, I think. But now I'll show it to you. So in this corner, um, we have a lot of action still going on there. We're probably going to lose that gold. And then the cloud there. But we didn't lose all the color, which I'm surprised. But see this here, how it's setting on top? I'm not sure how that's going to dry. So we're going to leave it alone and wait to see how it dries up for us. But I'm pretty happy with it. I think it's kind of cool. I'm going to give it another torch. So if you haven't subscribed yet, click that button down below and hit that bell so you'll be notified when I upload my next video. Click like and share. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. I think it's kind of cool. Um, it was a great experiment to see how the cloud paint um, would react. And of course, this is the milk paint. This is not just the deco art satin enamels. And uh, check out all the links below. Shop with us on Amazon for all your paint pouring supplies. We do have shot glasses in there if you're looking for the heavy bottom shot glasses that sink. Um, also syringes for injection pours and the airbrush and the pads and the trays. Everything is there. The torch. Um, everything you need for paint pouring is in our Amazon shop. And other things too. Um, also uh, join us every Monday night live at 9 p.m right here on this channel and that's Eastern Time. We have a great time and we do pours. Um, we're very, very interactive with our chat screen. So if you have a comment on a color or a technique you'd like to see, um, we can pretty much um, try to get to everybody's um, requests. Um, I get them, you know, and then sometimes I'll do a video for them, but I try my hardest to bring you what you want to see. And to teach you along the way too. Um, paint pouring, mixing um, videos are below for our bottled paints uh, like this and for our base coats for the canvases. Those two videos are down below this video in the description box. Uh, there's a wealth of information down below. Um, also the code for the stone coat art coat resin is below if you want to resin your paintings. Um, we are going to be bringing resin to our channel this week so um, be prepared <laughs> if you have resin and you haven't used it yet and you're too afraid we will definitely hold your hand because we're learning in the process as well so thanks so much for watching guys and I hope to see you on the next one bye now